Hello and welcome to our very first Kids Corner Time. Today we're going to be thinking about harvest and all the good things that grow to give us food. If you go for a walk around your garden or around the countryside at this time of year, you'll find all sorts of interesting things which show that the trees and the plants are getting ready for winter. They are busy making seeds and changing ready for the cold, dark and windy days that will come. When I went for a walk, I found some beautiful colours of leaves that had fallen from the trees. Did you know that these colours are there all the time? Just that in summer, the leaves look green because the green colour is how they make their food. It is called chlorophyll and it helps the tree or the plant to turn the sunshine into food, into sugars which travel from the leaves through the stems and trunks to feed the whole plant. Now the trees and plants are beginning to go to sleep for the winter so they don't need this green. The chlorophyll drains away and we can see the beautiful colours that were hidden. When the leaves fall off the tree they leave behind a little cap which keeps the branches safe through the cold winter. If you look carefully at the bare branches of trees in winter, you can sometimes see the new baby leaves safely packed away in a bud, away from the cold, waiting until it is warm enough to grow. In the winter winds, it's good that the trees don't have too many leaves on them so that they don't get blown over or the branches broken off. The wind can just blow through the bare branches. As well, on my walk, I found all sorts of seeds there's lots of them here. I found acorns and I found the little cups that acorns grow in. Isn't that clever? A little cup for the seed to grow in. I found some conkers. Here's a conker. I wonder if some of you have been playing some games with conkers. Here's one still in its spiky shell. It hasn't come out of its shell yet. I found some very spiky chestnut seeds. Very careful with our fingers with those. I found some fir cones with seeds inside. All gone now, but if we shake them when the seeds are in, we can hear them rattle. I found some berries with seeds inside. And I found some very clever seeds, like helicopters, that twirl through and fly through the sky until they land on the ground. All lots of different types of seeds. I wonder if you could find all these, or maybe you could find some more. When they land on the ground, they stay covered by the soil and by fallen leaves. And they stay like that all winter, keeping warm. And then in spring, when it begins to warm up, they can grow into new plants. Maybe some of you have planted seeds in your garden. Maybe you planted a sunflower seed, which was very, very tiny, even smaller than the acorn, and yet grows into a great big plant with a great big beautiful yellow flower. Have you ever wondered what all the seeds do in winter when it is too cold for them to grow? Well, the Bible has some words for us about this. In the book of Mark and chapter 4, we read these words. How can we imagine God's kingdom? That means the world, the world as it should be, where there is enough for everyone and where we care about one another. God's kingdom is like a seed which someone sows. The sower then goes about his life. He goes to bed and he gets up every day while the seed sprouts in the darkness and grows. We have no idea how it happens. First a green blade, then a bud and then a flower. We live in a wonderful world made by God. Inside every seed, all the different types and sizes, God has put all the instructions it needs to grow into the plant it should be how to stay nice and warm under a blanket of soil 
in the cold of the winter until the warmth of the spring. How first to grow a root down into the soil and then to push a stem up and up and up and then to grow leaves and a flower. And did you know that inside every person God has put all the instructions we need to grow into the type of person we should be? A person who helps God's kingdom to grow. Do you remember what the Bible said about that? God's kingdom, the world as it should be, where there is enough for all and we care for one another. You can be part of that if you listen to God speaking to you in your heart and mind. God speaks to us from other people who we trust. So that is why we should listen to our parents and our teachers. God speaks to us from the Bible. So that is why it is good to get into the habit of reading the stories in the Bible. And God speaks to us through this wonderful world. So that is why it is good to enjoy looking at interesting things like these colourful leaves and all these seeds. We are going to hear a song now, which you might know from church or school, about the good things we can remember to look at and to learn from. world full of lovely things to look at and good things for us to eat. Please help us to always remember that these things are for everyone to share. Please help those people who do not have enough to eat and who, who do not have anywhere to live. Please help all people who are ill in hospital and at home and all the people who look after them. Amen. Do you know anyone who is poorly or sad? Perhaps you would like to tell God about them. We're going to be quiet just for a minute now while you do that, while you tell God about people who are poorly or people who are sad. Thank you, God, that you care about everyone. Please fill the people we have prayed about with your peace. Amen. I hope you've enjoyed watching and listening and that you will watch next week as well. Bye for now.
and God bless.